designing for HBA first. And I'm gonna, I brought a few things here to show you today. In New York here, women love fur coats. And this is a, a wild mink fur coat. Now this is pen grown, it is not uh, an endangered species. I'm gonna get that out right away. <laughs> Ah, Dalma, you have someone else's coat on. This is a natural Russian sable. Now, now this coat is very pricey. Would you like to know how much? Yeah. A hundred thousand dollars. Any questions? Very <laughs> good. Thank you. This is an interesting coat. It's two colors of, of mink sewn together into a design. It's Lunar Rain and Ranch Mink. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the, it's a very interesting situation, the way it's done. It's tape time. Here we have Jan. This is a huge poncho. It's made out of sheared ranch mink. And it's a great thing to wear over pants, over evening gowns, over just almost anything. Just wrap yourself in that. How much? How much? Seven thousand. Uh, well, now, now <laughs> do you want this? Come on in. Look at this. This is this is dyed neutra. This is a, like a sweater that you would wear with your jeans, wear it with anything. It's a very casual little outfit. It's kind of a seven to eleven jacket. That's right. <laughs> Looky here. And here All she's right, the way. partner. This jacket is copied right off a of jeans jacket, and it's made out of Nutra, and it's, uh, it's really a fabulous jacket to wear to the football game, out on the ranch, whatever. How much? $3,000. Out on now, the ranch. <laughs> now, this is, now, this is a stole, is it not? This is a stole. A lot of women uh, never have anything to wear in the evening over their evening clothes, and uh, this, to me, is the, the best possible garment to wear. It, it'll wrap you up, but it doesn't get in the way of your gown. This is, this is ranch mink. Now, C Connie is wearing the exact same stole, but done in black fox. And it has a huge notch collar on it, so it really is very pretty. It shows off your shoulders very well. And of course, you know, coming from Hollywood, we have to do white fox and beads. So here's Anna wearing all a white fox stole and lots of beads. That's pretty. That is lovely. We're in New York City with Bob Mackey and the collection, and we'll be back in a moment. Celebrate McCurdy style with counterparts. In all the roles you play, your fashion comes. And it has to, you know, you have to pay the rent. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm 17. I was wondering if you design anything for people of a younger age. Uh, well, I, I tell you, my things, I think some of my sportswear can go on a younger age, but not really teenager at this point. I, I think it starts at about 21. Yeah. Legal age. Hi, I, was re I remember watching one of Cher's videos, and, and she was in this crazy unitard outfit with holes just yeah. in the right places. And I wondered if you designed that. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I desi actually, I designed that 10 years ago, and she pulled it out of the closet and used it on that video. Number then wore it on David Letterman. Hi, I'm glad you waited. Go ahead. Hi, Bob. I've heard that you try to curb or tone down Cher's exhibitionist tendencies. Is this true? Uh, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> uh, the, the woman is, uh, you know, a fantastic looking creature and she knows what's good for her. I'll tell her, you don't really want to wear this to the Academy Awards. And she says, yes, I do. And the next day she's in every single paper on the cover. So you can't say that she's wrong. She knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, are we ready with, is this the, this is the big stuff, right? As in formal, like floor light. So? We can do some and then talk and then Fine. do some. Fine. Mr. Mackey, like. please let us, uh, let us see this. This is... Uh, you may see it. We've got some drama here. <laughs> uh-huh, I love this. Here we are, beads again and chiffon. This is my favorite fabric this season. 
And I love these dresses that are short in front and long in the back. I think women like them too, so they can really dance. It's a great way to look. Now, for the woman who wants everything covered but still has a great figure, this is a terrific dress. Yes, it is. This is eight ply silk crepe. And the little jacket, what you think is a jacket, is really sewn right into the dress. It's all in one. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Smart, too. Here comes Diane in a coupe de velour dress. This dress looks like it's all beaded, but basically it's, it's a velvet with silver threads and, and black threads, and it weighs very little. <laughs> How pretty this is. This next gown is the kind of thing that everyone thinks I do all, that they think that's all I do. And I always do a few because people do like them. Yeah. Now, by them, you mean flesh tone uh, fabric covered by? Yes, well, flesh tone with the beads and the whole kind of illusion that, that maybe you might not have anything on underneath or well, whatever. Yeah, that's pretty, very pretty, thank you. This is a look I particularly like. The very romantic, the chiffon and several colors overlapping each other. It's, uh, to me, really uh, the way a woman looks beautiful. She could be the... She could be the head of many countries wearing that garment. She could. Yes. And here's another version of the same dress with a longer sleeve. And uh, I think this is probably a, one of the most flattering colors. By the way, this is a terrific Mother of the Bride dress for that. You think so? I do too. Yeah. yeah that's pretty. A little bit, perhaps, uh, too much drama for the Mother. The Mother of the Bride's going to get oh, all the attention in that. The Mother of the Bride likes to get her attention. <laughs> okay. Here we have, uh, well, this is probably what I'm best known for, this kind of thing. Lots of diamonds, lots of, uh, it's, it's sexy, what can I say? Yes, it is. <laughs> Now, you don't have to be a six to wear that, do you? No, you don't. Actually, I've sold this dress with the sleeve. I've sold it up to a size 14. 14? Yep. Mm -hmm. And we well, can go higher. Well, that will fit anybody in our audience. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty. Well, go ahead. Go on. Go on. She's the one. This is She's the ultimate the... winter bride. <laughs> Now, this is an outfit that I think would look great. I mean, maybe not with a hat, but it's, it's a great way to look on New Year's Eve. Uh-huh. Boy, will you draw the crowd in that outfit. There, pretty. While I have some time. Yes? Who is the hardest person to design for? You design for a lot of famous people. Who is the hardest to design for? The hardest to design for? Well, I think you, when you get a woman that, that is so beautiful that, that anything you put on her is like, uh, you know, like gilding the lily, that's the hardest. Uh, I, you know, I've had a lot of beautiful women, you know, around me, and I've designed for them, but that's usually very hard when she's really, really a beauty. Yes. Whose choice is it to have to uh, share where so much... Uh, black. Is it your decision That's or hers? Her decision. <laughs> yes. I just wondered how you got the job with Edith Head when you said you first started with. How'd you I just job? knocked on the door and I took my portfolio in and uh, she looked at my sketches and she said, "I'm sorry, I don't have any work." And I starved for six months and then finally the the lady that worked for her doing sketches uh, got sick and and I got called in. Now is that the way to start sketches? Well, I worked as a sketch artist. A lot of designers in Hollywood didn't do their own sketches in those days. They still don't. And uh, I would, they would design it, I would, I would sketch it. And then sometimes they would let me design it, which was a great learning process. Have you ever had a favorite design, one that you'll never forget? Well, actually, it, 
the cover of Time Magazine in 1975 of Cher was very exciting because it was on the cover of Time Magazine. And that's always, you know, for, for a young designer, that's really something. And we'll be back in a moment. If you love cheese, but not cholesterol, here's a natural cheese that's low in cholesterol. Light Naturals from Kraft. Now you can have your cheese and eat it too. Caffrey toothpaste decaffeinates your smile. Coffee and tea can stain your smile. It's like they stain your cup. Caffrey gets out coffee and tea stains better than the leading toothpaste. Caffrey toothpaste or mini gel. Caffrey decaffeinates your smile. Woolworth, America's Christmas store, has lots of great-looking gifts for men, like these colorful plaid flannel shirts, a super buy at just $5. Slim coil photo albums, 72 or 96 pocket style, only $3. Big 100-page scrapbooks with solid or memory book cover, just $4. And these jumbo photo albums with 100 self-adhesive pages, now only $5. All this week at Woolworth, America's Christmas store. If you haven't shopped at Lomans Plaza, here's what you've been missing. Specialty stores offering you the finest quality and value money can buy. Conveniently located on South Clinton Avenue in Brighton. Lomans Plaza, the best surprise of all. Linehan Hallmark is your hallmark for Christmas. See what's new this Christmas from Inesco's Precious Moments Collection. There's treasured ornaments for your tree, or count the seasons with a figurine for each month. Let them warm your heart. Inesco's Precious Moments gives you a selection of characters to match your every mood. They're all waiting for you at Linehan Hallmark. Your hallmark for Christmas. Marketplace Eastview and Greestown Malls. Our family depends on 1180 WHAM for the information we need every morning. I'm late. Any traffic jams? Avoid the can of worms. 1180 WHAM really helps us plan our day. Is it gonna rain? 40% chance. Radar weather, the latest news and sports. Win the game. We did All right. it! All the information we need when we need it. Where's my other shoe? It's under your bed. For information when you need it, you can depend on 1180 WHAM. I found here, Bobby, a real-life man person. <laughs> Bob, I'd like to know how fashion prices are determined. How they're determined? How it's they it's all based on labor, labor and cost of fabric. Is it is it the number that are for sale? Is sure, that, that's part that's of it, isn't it? If it's a unique one of a kind, you're going to spend more than. Well, if it's a custom gown that I would do, maybe for a star, yes, it, it would cost more because there's more time involved in it. But uh, it basically, it's it's labor and and costs. Can a $500 dress be made to look as good as a $10,000 dress? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, there's hope for everybody then. Yes, sure. there is. <laughs> uh, I want you to just take one more look at this lovely formal collection. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Mackey, are your clothes made in mass production? Uh, yes, they are. Services provided and promotional fees paid by the following. 